my mind is telling me do this whether it's on your phone or whether it's to get up and go and see someone and commit adultery and fornication or go and gamble or go and do drugs or whatever my mind is telling me and it's so tempting and i say astaghfirullah a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim not going to do that it's all happening in my mind allah says for you is a reward do you know why your abstention is a sign of your connection with us subhanallah are we connected to allah my brothers my sisters are we connected to Allah or do we follow what the globe is teaching us today? You incline towards something, go do it. You only live once, YOLO, as they say. You only live once, YOLO, my man. That's why when they greet you, they say, yo. Why? Because that's part of the law, subhanAllah. May Allah grant us ease. May Allah grant us ease. This is a very important subject because it applies to everything that man inclines towards. The rule is a blanket rule. You're inclined towards something. Number one, you will have a reward to abstain from acting upon your inclinations if they are in the displeasure of Allah. Number two, if that inclination is within the pleasure of Allah, thank Allah and go and do it. For example, your five daily prayers. If Allah inclines you towards the good, that's something good. That's why, what is the dua we make? Oh Allah. Allahumma habib ilayna al-Iman. Make beloved to us Iman. We want to be mu'mineen. We want to be believers. Habib ilayna al-Iman wa zayinhu fi qulubina. Beautify it in our hearts. Oh Allah. Wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wa al-fusuka wa al-isyan. Oh Allah. Make detested to us disbelief and sin and transgression. Make it make it disliked to me. So naturally when you love to pray, you're looking forward to the next prayer. And wallahi, there are many people like that. A lot of the believers are that way. You love to pray. So what happens? You enjoy it. I'm coming. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, you help me. I came to the masjid. I'm sitting every time you're granting me the acceptance to be in the first saf, to come early, to enjoy, to spend a little bit more time, etc. Oh Allah, I thank you for it. Allah says, you know what? It's a sign of your connection with us. So thank Allah. Now shaitan is jealous because he sees you coming every day. He says, you know what? You're better than all the people behind you. You're a top man. You're reading five salah. They don't even read five. So you start thinking, I'm better. I'm better. That better was the first crime of the devil. Ana khayrum minhu. He told Allah, I'm better than Adam. You created him that way. You created me this way. Hey, it's got to do with Allah. Allah tells you and instructs you. If you follow the instruction, you're close to Allah. If you do not follow the instruction, you are far away from Allah. Connect with Allah. Do you know why? You're going back to Allah. That's why. A believer believes, I came from Allah, I'm living for Allah, and I'm going back to Allah. That's a believer. I am here today to remind myself and yourselves, we are going back to Allah. So many people have passed away. Marhum Haji uh, Rafiq Richards, wasn't he with us just now the other day? Subhanallah, what happened to him? Allah grant him Rahmah and Jannatul Firdaus. And Allah grant all the marhumin of this community Jannatul Firdaus. And Allah grant the marhumin of the Ummah Jannatul Firdaus. Allah grant us Jannatul Firdaus when we go back. My brothers, my sisters, prepare for the day by not, full, not acting on inclinations that are considered sinful in the eyes of Allah. It does not mean you're inclined towards something, you act on it. No. And protect yourself and understand where shaitan is coming in from. Don't justify some sin that you're engaging in. Just say, look, Ya Allah, I know this is haram. Not justifying it. I need your forgiveness. The minute shaitan makes you justify it, the door of repentance begins to shut. Why? Are you going to seek forgiveness for drinking alcohol? Thinking, ah, there's nothing wrong. It's just a little bit. I'm only having a cup, man. Only one cup. It's not doing anything to me. How on earth could you arrive at that? There are people today who justify that drinking a little bit is okay. I drink social drinking. Go check on social media. On their profiles, believers are saying social drinker. What do you mean? What do you mean? You should be ashamed as a believer to advertise a sin that you're committing. My beloved brother and sister, if you are engaged in something that is wrong, don't go advertising it because the hadith says, people will continue to achieve the goodness from Allah for as long as they do not openly and proudly commit a sin. When you become a mujahir, a person who commits an open sin, the doors of that tawbah become more difficult to open. 